Hey there, Nick Truth Hackers here. In this video, we're going to go over using FFmpeg to very quickly create clips from a video. This could be useful if you have, let's say, a two-hour video that's four gigs in size, but you really only care about what's in between minutes five through ten, those 300 seconds. So in a couple of seconds, you can run an FFmpeg command and then just extract out those five minutes to a separate file, and then you might be left with, let's say, a 50 meg file instead of a couple of gigs. This could be really handy if you just want to create clips or extract out your favorite parts of a video into multiple separate files, and then you could delete the original or do whatever you want. By the way, if you want to follow along, you will need FFmpeg installed. You can check this by running this help command over here. If you do not have it installed, then it's going to be in most package managers, so you can apt install it, brew install it, etc, etc. There's also an official FFmpeg download page. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. So check it out. Uh, in this directory here, I have uh, a recipe for making peanut butter and jelly, which I created, by the way. Uh, we're going to watch that in a couple of minutes here. But yeah, well, by the way, spoiler alert, I, I did also create a wrapper shell script to make this command that we're about to run a little bit easier. So throughout this video, we are going to go over that shell script as well. But yeah, let's start with the basics here and just run FFmpeg. Well, actually, before that, maybe we can just look at the original video here, uh, making peanut butter and jelly. In this video, we're going to learn how to make peanut butter and jelly, just like my great, great, great grandfather in Greece, where he picked the peanut butter and jelly straight from a tree in 1783. It was really good. What you do is you put the jelly on the bread, put the peanut butter on the bread, you put the bread in your mouth and you eat it and it's really good. Thank you for watching. The end. And there we go, that's the family recipe for creating peanut butter and jelly. But uh, the first couple of seconds goes into this whole entire life story, but really I only really care about the specifics of making the peanut butter and jelly. So let's use FFmpeg to cut out the middle portion of that video that we want. So we can start by doing dash ss here, which is uh, basically the start time of what you want. Uh, I just happen to know offhand that the part that we want is the eight second point. Uh, I didn't want to spend five minutes fumbling around trying to find the range, so I did that off the video then uh, we want the, the end of this one to be 13 seconds. So the video actually ends at 14 seconds, but we're gonna end one second earlier and we're gonna chop out basically uh, the first eight seconds of the video and just start at the eight second point. But then we need to say, you know, what's the input file that we're gonna be dealing with here. In this case, it's the PBJ recipe, the MP4. By the way, this also works on MP3 files as well, as well as most compressed file formats. So like MKV will work, uh, but if you are using a WAV file, we're going to have to change this next flag a little bit differently, but everything else works works the same here. But uh, yeah, we can use copy over here. And uh, this is actually just going to copy the stream from the in input to the output here. And now we just need to basically define the output here, which will be some file that we want. You know, we can name this anything that we want here. In this case, you know, the input is going to be an MP4. The output is going to be an MP4. This copy uh, command here is going to be very fast. It's going to take this stream of MP4, uh, produce the output here. It's not going to re-encode the video. That's why it's really nice. You know, we're dealing with a very small video now, but you know, even if this video were two gigs in size and we wanted to chop out 10 seconds of it, it's still going to run very, very quickly, which is nice. So yeah, let's let this thing rip here and see what happens. Feel free to try this uh, on whatever video that you want that you might have. Done. So, you know, in this case, it was super fast because really we're only extracting out like an eight second video here. But uh, yeah, let's go and check out this video here. You know, if I uh, reload my uh, file browser here, we can see that we have this new out file here. So let me run this one. Good. What you do is you put the jelly on the bread, put the peanut butter on the bread, you put the bread in your mouth and you eat it and it's really good. And there we go. We successfully chopped out those couple of seconds here of the video. So yeah, that's the command. But as you can see here, oh, it's kind of long, right? You have to remember the orderings of these flags, like the star to the two, you have to put the input, you have to put the output. And oftentimes, I don't know about you, but like, if I'm going to be making clips out of a specific video, you know, I might actually decide to do something like PB and J recipe one, recipe two, recipe three, you know, if I'm going to be making a couple of clips from a video and uh, yeah, I have to, you know, basically duplicate this file name more than once here for the input and for the output there. And uh, that's a little bit of, annoy of an annoyance here. So I did create uh, a little shell script here that we're going to take a look at and let me load this down below here so we can take a look and run this thing. I think it was like make a clip. Yeah, there we go. And there's the, uh, yeah, there's everything over here. So let's take a look here at the script. You know, this is stuff that I've covered in previous videos. We, need to, we don't need to go over this now. I'll leave a, a link to a card if you want to learn a little bit more about shell scripting. But the real meat and potatoes of this over here is, yeah, we're just running the FFmpeg, FFmpeg command with the start, with the end, with the input and the output. And then we're doing a little bit in the middle here just to parse out the file name from the extension. So let's go over this a little bit here, right? Uh, so the start time, these are all coming from inputs to the script itself. For example, we don't run it yet, but we can. So I can just run make clip over here, uh, just like this. So basically the input is the file name that you want. 
And then uh, the parts in this case, you know, let's just say that we want to have, you know, dash one, dash two, dash three, whatever it might be. You know, it doesn't need to be a number. If you want to use underscores instead of dashes, that's completely fine. If you don't want to use anything, that's actually not going to work, but you can choose to, yeah, put something in here. And the reason why it's not going to work if you don't put anything is because, you know, then the input is going to be exactly the same as the output and that's not going to be good. So yeah, let's just say, you know, dash one for the part over here. And then we can just define the start time that we want, which was eight seconds. And then the end time that we want was 13 seconds here. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So we've got the, you know, we've got the input, the parts, the start time and the end time. And when we run this one, then uh, we're done. So now if I go and take a look here at the output, we can see that we actually have this file here. And it happens to be the same exact size as the other output file here. That's because both of these files are now the same. You know, one was created with the script. Uh, but, you know, if I were to rerun the script here, uh, I can change this to a two. It's going to make another file. And we can take a look at that one like this. And you can also rerun it with the same exact file name. And FFmpeg is going to be smart enough to let you know, like, hey, by the way, you've already got a file that exists with this. Would you like to overwrite it? Yes or no. And then we're done. So, yeah. And you can also choose... Uh, well, I was going to say you can also choose to configure FFmpeg with Y here if you just don't want to be bothered with the overwrite thing. But I've actually found that uh, being warned for the overwrite is actually pretty nice. So yeah, this is uh, a quick way to set things up here. And, you know, we have a little bit of shell scripting over here just to go over some details. For example, you know, the input that you pass in, going back to what we just ran before, you know, that's this file name over here. But this file name has two different components, right? We have the file name component, and we also have the extension component as well. So in this case, this is a way to basically split on the dot here and then yeah the first part of that the file name is going to be what's before the dot in this case pb and j recipe and then the other one the second element in that one is going to be the extension in this case mp4 just like this and then uh, yeah we just combine those over here where you know the file name is uh, that then we have the part in the middle and then the extension at the end and that gives us our output and also i should mention here too that while i don't have the setup you know this will work if you give it an absolute path so you know if you had a couple directories and a temp directory or something like that you know you can just run this script from anywhere pass in the path and it's going to work all the same here but uh, yeah that's going to pretty much do it for this video uh let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite ffmpeg commands because we just really are scratching the surface here i mean this is like one percent of what ffmpeg can do in this case though yeah just chopping out some specific areas of a video is pretty useful so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up it really does help a lot and i do think that i am going to put this in my dot files eventually you know i may tweak it a little bit before it goes up there but for now there is going to be a link to my blog post that will have this here if you just want to copy paste this so you don't need to you know pause the video and type it out but this is the whole thing just in case you want to see it in all its glory here cool i will see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching